What's up, everybody? It's me, Marilyn. I know, right? Finally. Well, you know, it's Friday night, February 7th, and typically I would be doing some show prep, preparing for tomorrow's radio show. But as you know, we've been on hiatus, or actually preempted, for the past few Saturdays, and so we haven't been hanging out on Saturdays. I just wanted to pop in to say hello, to see how you're doing, and of course, uh, remind you to tune in to the broadcast next Saturday, February 15th, the day after Valentine's Day. I can't wait. Oh my gosh. It's almost like I get the shakes when I stay away from the radio so long. So anyway, how are things? Uh, since we last talked, we did the Martin Luther King Day of Service. Remember, we hung out over at Joliet West. I, of course, participated by helping get some young people registered to vote. I thought I was going to be registering quite a few, but it turned out uh, only two qualified because the majority of the students uh, didn't have two pieces of identification with them. So young people, if you're turning 18 before November, uh, the n next November general election here in the state of Illinois, you can vote. That's right, you can participate in the March primary which I believe is the 18th, and um, then also vote in November. So, you know, I encourage you to get registered to vote, but just remember that you do need two pieces of identification with your name and address and one with um, a photo of yourself, and then you can get registered. If you want to see me, I don't mind doing it. Just send me an email, and I'll go ahead and get that taken care of for you. But anyway, it turned out to be a great day and uh, it was so good to see some of the old students that I worked with, um, you know, a few years ago in the school system. Boy, I tell you, time waits for no one. Um, what else has happened? Well, we're in the month of February and of course it's uh, uh, all about Valentine's Day and love in February, but it's also Black History Month and so I do want to remind you of some black history facts just in case you may have forgotten and of course uh, one of them is Daniel Hale Williams performed the first open heart surgery and he was African American and also did you know that Garrett A. Morgan invented the stoplight? That's right just some little known history facts sometimes we forget those things right? All right, and then what else do I want to remind you guys about? I just, you know, what I've been doing since we've been um, away from the radio, just kind of tweaking the show, thinking about some ways to improve the show. I do have some new segments coming up that I will be announcing next Saturday when we hang out. Well, I tell you, this weather has been a trip too, right? Man, oh man, I think as of today, here in the Chicago lands area, we may have gotten, well, in the, the Will County area specifically, I think we've surpassed 40 inches of snow um, since the official winter season has started. So that's really amazing. And I think the average for winter over the past 10 years or so has only been 28 inches of snow. So, you know, the local municipalities here in um, the greater Chicagoland era have been grappling with budgeting um, um, efforts uh, in terms of snow removal and the cost. And then some of them have been running out of salt, and so they're mixing sand with the salt to keep the roads safe. And of course, they're asking residents to do all that they can and all of this too. And as we speak, my goodness, we um, the weather people are forecasting another couple inches by uh, tomorrow afternoon here in the um, Chicago Land broadcast area. So, man, and I, you know, have been hearing about the East Coast who's been hit with snow lately and down south Atlanta and some of those areas have <laughs> have been hit so you know winter is winter it just um, as we say all the time on the show I think in general we've kind of been spoiled because the winters haven't been horrible uh, like this one in terms of the snow then the frigid polar arctic temps then more snow, then back to the frigid temps. But we'll be okay. We'll survive, right? 
Um, hmm, what else did I want to share with you guys? You know, I'm just watching some television programs is what I've been doing also since we've been away. And, um, of course, uh, uh, a few Saturdays ago, uh, Melissa McCarthy hosted uh, Saturday Night Live. And then, of course, the um, show itself with the three main African-American um, actors and actress, the new actress, did um, a skit in honor of Black History Month. I posted that on my YouTube channel. So if you want to check out Maryland's Cafe Society on YouTube and um, look at my favorite videos, you'll get a chance to see that skit. It's a little over two minutes long, but it is hilarious. At least to me it is. Um, it's called, uh, well, what is it called? 28 Reasons is what it's called so be sure to check that out and then of course Super Bowl Sunday was this past Sunday I don't get into football quite like that unless it's the Chicago Bears or another team that I generally root for but uh, these two teams I wasn't overly excited about but I know that it was a major upset with uh, the Seattle Hawks beating out the Denver uh, Broncos 43 to 8 that was a blowout but the commercials were great right and of course uh, the number one commercial everyone's talking about is the puppy love commercial by Budweiser my goodness it was so sweet almost makes you want to go get a puppy um, what else and the, the highlights of course Renee Fleming opera star Renee Fleming singing the uh, the national anthem and Queen Latifah performing America the Beautiful. She almost performed it as well as I do when I get the urge to sing it sometimes. And then Bruno Mars with the halftime show with an appearance of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Uh, you know, they almost didn't have to be there. He was doing such a fantastic job, in my opinion. But uh, we do love the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And so they did kind of put a little, add a little spice to the show, right? He stood and he delivered. And from what I've been reading, he has... Uh, surpassed all the other numbers in terms of of people who tuned in for the halftime show. I think he just floored us all. I've been telling you guys about Bruno Mars for a while now and of course um, his his band, you know, they they just always put on a great show. And so of course we can see his influences uh, in his performance, James Brown, as well as Michael Jackson. So yay Bruno Mars, good for you. Uh, what else have I been doing? I've been watching The Biggest Loser. Have you been watching that? My goodness. Well, uh, the winner, and I, well, forgive me, but I, I don't have her name, but there has been, you know, some controversy in terms of how much weight she's uh, lost. I think she started out at 263, 268, something like that, and now she's down to 105 pounds. And when you look at that before and that after picture, it's quite shocking don't you agree so hmm it just kind of made me think about myself and you know exactly how much weight do I want to lose in, in my journey this continuous journey that I'm on to become more healthy and more fit and you know as a result of course I'm shedding pounds but um, I you know announced to you guys at the beginning of the year that and you know I've been saying it over the, the course of the past two years that I'm you know in total might want to lose a hundred pounds but when I see her and remember television puts 20 pounds on you those digital cameras when I see her I just you know have to wonder if I really want to do that because she almost doesn't look healthy um, and I guess she you know may have lost that much to kind of give herself some room to play with when she inevitably will uh, you know pick up some some of that weight that she lost but uh, kudos to her and her drive and steadfastness and, and trying to get those pounds off I just hope that maybe she you know picks up maybe 10 20 more pounds and uh, kind of stay around the 120, 125 range. That's just my personal opinion. 
Um, all right. Well, I think that is about it. I am just anxiously awaiting next Saturday, February 15th, when we get back together on the radio. I'm uh, working on some, some nice things. It'll kind of sort of have that uh, Valentine's Day, after Valentine's Day appeal. And, uh, you know, oh, another thing I've been doing too is catching up on some films. So we'll be talking about some films and potentially having some guests in the studio as well. Oh, and last but not least, remember this Sunday, the 9th of February, The Beatles CBS Channel 2 is going to be doing the 50th anniversary celebration of the Beatles arrival here in America and appearing on the Ed Sullivan show and all of that and um, that's sort of kicking off something that they're going to be doing I think year round with a lot of the footage that they have of uh, landmark entertainers and performances that happened 50 years ago so make sure that you tune in and watch that and see what happens there okay I think that's it remember to check out IamMarilyn.com to find out where we're gonna be we're gonna have an appearance or two um, this month I don't know if it's before or after the 15th I'll have to check myself but uh, yeah just go to IamMarilyn.com just to kind of see what's happening um, with the show and our whereabouts and come on out and support you know the efforts that we are involved in okay well all right everybody I think that's about it um, I may try to check in one more time before we get together next Saturday on the 15th but just in case I don't I want to wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day okay and oh 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 locally here oh yeah I did want to remind um, folks here in the state of Illinois that February 12th is Lincoln's birthday so I believe um, most government offices will be closed and February 17th is President's Day and so again government offices will be closed and we'll have some announcements on the 15th too about getting registered to vote and early voting and all that good stuff as well so all right I think I've talked enough again stay safe stay warm don't hurt yourself shoveling snow if it, if you're getting a lot of snow west coasters bah to you <laughs> all right well have a great night and evening and weekend everybody and I'll talk to you for sure next Saturday February 15th at 1340 WJOL right at one o'clock remember that's our new show time or I may pop in one more time on the webcast just to say hello Remember, if you don't do anything else this week, make sure that you live, you laugh, and you love. We'll talk again soon. Peace.